song, nice title. Emily Smiles. Sarah Jo and Keris to follow the news. That's three different people, by the way. <laughs> Just so as you know, or as they say elsewhere, on the way. Uh, we return tomorrow with Michael Ball and Alfie Bow and the brilliant actor David Harewood. Good evening. BBC News at five o'clock. This is Adam Porter. Liz Truss has won the contest to become the UK's next Prime Minister. She was announced as the new leader of the Conservative Party at lunchtime, beating her rival Rishi Sunak. And a further arrest has been made in connection with the fatal shooting of a nine-year-old girl in Liverpool. Liz Truss has won the Conservative leadership contest and will become the UK's next Prime Minister. She received around 20,000 more votes from her party's membership than her rival Rishi Sunak. She said it was an honour to have been selected and set out what she wanted to achieve while in office. I will deliver a bold plan to cut taxes and grow our economy. I will deliver on the energy crisis, dealing with people's energy bills but also dealing with the long-term issues we have on energy supply. Mr Sunak said she had his full support and the party's priority should be getting behind the new leader. The Conservative MP Andrew Bridgen thinks there should be a place for the former Chancellor in the next Cabinet. Rishi lost the leadership election but I think he won the argument about supporting the country through this winter and the energy crisis. I think we'll have a credible policy within a week which will entail a, uh, a price freeze for energy, giving certainty to consumers and also to businesses. It'll reduce the impact of inflation. Boris Johnson has congratulated Ms Truss on what he called her decisive win. The Labour leader, Sir Keir Starmer, said she would need to focus on the challenges actually facing most people. We've heard far more from the latest Prime Minister about cuts to corporation tax over the summer than we have about the cost of living crisis, the single most important thing that's bearing down on so many millions of households. And that shows not only that she's out of touch, but that she's not on the side of working people. The Liberal Democrats have called for a general election, saying with Ms Truss as leader, the country is set to see more of the same crisis and chaos as under her predecessor. Our chief political correspondent Nick Erdley says that once Ms Truss officially becomes the new Prime Minister, after travelling to see the Queen at Balmoral tomorrow, she'll face a long to-do list. He says many will be expecting a quick response to the rising cost of energy bills, which her team have hinted will be addressed later this week. Recent Prime Ministers, they all had their challenges, but even Theresa May and Boris Johnson, who had the massive Brexit battles in Parliament, they had a few weeks and in some cases a few months to try and win over Parliament and the public with their plan. Liz Truss has about 40 hours before she has to set out a plan that her, the early part of her Premiership will be judged by. Police have been questioning another man in connection with the fatal shooting of nine-year-old Olivia Pratt Corbell in Liverpool. The 34-year-old, who's from the city, was stopped on the M42 in the West Midlands, where he was arrested on suspicion of assisting an offender. Our reporter Rowan Bridge is following developments. In the early hours of yesterday morning, two men were arrested in the Runcorn area as part of the investigation. A 34-year-old from Liverpool was arrested on suspicion of murder and attempted murder, and a 41-year-old on suspicion of assisting an offender. Police then arrested a third man, a 29-year-old, also on suspicion of assisting an offender. Today's announcement means there are now four people in police custody for questioning. Olivia Pratt Corbell died after she was shot at her home when a gunman chased Joseph Nee, a convicted burglar, into a house on August the 22nd.
Ukraine's nuclear operator says Reactor 6 at the Russian-occupied Zaporizhia nuclear plant is operating and providing the site's own electricity needs, despite its disconnection from the grid earlier today. This means there's no need yet for backup diesel generators, which provide power for cooling in the event of a shutdown. More than a 1,000 migrants have crossed the channel to the UK in a single day for the second time in a fortnight. Figures from the Ministry of Defence show 1,160 came over in 25 small boats yesterday. The total number who've reached the UK this year has reached more than 27,000. A man who stalked the former Newsnight presenter Emily Maitlis has been jailed for eight years after attempting to breach his restraining order for the 20th time. Edward Vines tried to send eight letters from prison where he was already serving a sentence for writing to Miss Maitlis. In the city, the 100 share index closed up six points at 7,287. And the weather forecast showers will start to break out across Wales and the south of England with the risk of some thunderstorms. The rain will spread northwards over the course of the evening. There'll be lows of 14 Celsius in Edinburgh and 15 in London, Cardiff and Belfast. BBC News, it's five past five. Adam, thank you very much. And thank you very much to Mr. Steve Wright and to Adele Roberts and to Anita as well and to Richie, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and everyone in between, welcome along to your magnetic Monday tea time extravaganza as the weekend kicks off its sliders and struggles to remember how to wear actual school shoes with laces and everything. Let's kick up our heels, link arms and stumble into a brand new week together. And to quote new shoes, I can't wait, baby, to thoroughly entertain you till seven. There'll be music to shuffle to, features to keep your thinky bits on their toes, plus you, wonderful you, on 88 91. As it's a Monday there's jukebox jam plus first and last a half hour and arrive on a gondola for the Sarahs plus jellied fields and badger about. I'm excited. Ethel's excited. I'm quite happy with my willy. Like I said. <laughs> <laughs> 